I'm at the scene of a mysterious recent encounter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I've got a fish on. Or something, but that's really going. This is a powerful fish. Oh, I can just see, I can see colour. Here we go. Getting it slowly nearer to the surface. Uh, we're going to see the fish. It's a giant trevally. Excellent. Big eye, that goes with being a, a sight predator, hunting down prey by sight. As I discovered in Fiji, giant trevally can be lethal, using their head as a battering ram. But I'm looking for an aggressive biter. They've got teeth. There's a couple of canines in the middle of the lower jaw. You know, that could inflict some damage, but not the life-threatening wounds I'm investigating. And there's another thing. An experienced fisherman like George would recognize it. These are very familiar fish. If somebody saw a, a giant trevally, they'd know it was a giant trevally. So we're talking about something else. Back on the trail of the mystery assailant, my boatman John and I carry on trolling to see what other big predators can be enticed from the depths. Every now and again, this gives a real hit on the rod. Well, it's in quite close now. I can see... That's quite a long fish. What's that? That's barracuda. OK, here we go. This fish has the hardware to cause some serious injury. Those teeth are almost like daggers. The, the mouth doesn't really even need to close. It just swims at speed with its mouth open and leaves a long cut. The teeth are so sharp that in Florida, just a glancing blow was enough to slice a man's arm to the bone. Although dangerous, this fish doesn't make my suspect list either. I mean, the shape and everything's all wrong for a start, but everybody knows what a barracuda is around here. The spear fisherman described a dark, full-bodied creature with a big head, so definitely not this fish. 